one. It's Rose with Rose Originals. I'm going to be making my mango smoothie soap today. And the reason it's called mango smoothie is because I'm using a scent that smells just like mangoes. And I'm also using uh, coconut milk. Now you're thinking, okay, it's um, right now it's getting ready for the um, holiday shows. And you're thinking, hmm, mango, that's more like summer. Yeah, that's more like summer, but down here, um, we have a lot of tourists, and the tourists um, like to get something unusual, um, and that's mangoes unusual. It's a tropical fruit, we're in the tropical area, so yada, yada, yada. It sells really well, and it smells just amazing. Um, the oil I'm using is red palm oil, and it gives a beautiful uh, yellow color to the soap. Um, it's like the inside of the mango. It's really beautiful. I'm going to be using a uh, pink and red mica uh, for accents. Um, and also, actually, what I combined, what I did is I combined some red uh, vibrant and some pink vibrant to get more like a cherry red color. And then I'm also using some green, which are, you know, more or less the colors of the mangoes. Um, so I've got my clay in here. Let's get the lye in here. And I've got silk in my lye. Oh, I almost forgot my milk. Now this is going to go fast. And I'm hoping that I have enough time to work because this fragrance goes really fast and the milk goes really fast. So I'm going to uh, blend it very little. Okay. It'll get blended much more once I add the uh, colorants. Now I'm not gonna do a lot. I'm just gonna do a tiny swirl so it's, I'm not gonna put a lot of color in here. It's already starting to heat up. All right. So let's see what happens. Oh, let me get my molds because everything has to be ready. Because there's not a lot of time to play with this um, with this fragrance. And I'm just going to do a, a drop swirl with this and make sure that I've got the fragrance in here mixed in re really well. I don't want to hand blend it. I mean, I don't want to blend it with a stick blender anymore. Actually, it's behaving quite nicely today. Wow. See, doesn't that look like mango? It's beautiful. And that coconut milk, oh my goodness, it has such, gets such beautiful bubbles. And it's a real creamy lather. All right, so that's behaving really well.
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a chopstick and I'm just going to, I was going to do a spoon, but I think I'm just going to take the chopstick and just swirl it. Okay. All right, well that looks really good. Oh God, I wish you could be here. This this smells so incredible. All right, I'm gonna let this sit up a little bit because it's behaving so well today. Well, you know what I did? I had a mango papaya scent that I sometimes would add to this because um, I use that scent for uh, lotion bars and sugar scrubs. I never use it for soap because it's like soap on a stick. Um, and I think what happened is I didn't add that fragrance. So this is behaving so nicely. So I'm very happy. Okay. All right. Yes, look. It's just, oh, it's like a dream. All right. It makes me happy. Okay. So I'm going to let this set up a little bit. Yeah, it's got a little, oh, I can't believe it. Okay, so that was the key, not to add that mango papaya scent. And I have a much more fluid um, batter. I'm a happy camper. All right, so I'm going to let this set up a little bit, and then we'll come back. So stay tuned. Okay, so I wait a little bit, and um, I think it's set up enough where I could decorate the top. showing up because um, you know it is a gold soap but let me put some glitter on here and I'm gonna put this in the fridge because it does have all that milk uh, it's half and half half distilled water and half coconut milk so there's a lot of coconut milk in here so I don't want a partial gel so I'm going to go ahead and put it into the refrigerator. There you go. And here is mango smoothie. I hope you liked it. Um, I'm going to attach the cutting video to the end of this uh, video. So stay tuned for the cutting video. All right. So we're going to cut the uh, mango smoothie. And it's it really is looking just perfect exactly the way I want it. So let's see what we got inside. Still a little soft. Oh, okay. Mm, not happy with that. A little too diffused, but that's the first cut. Let's see what else we get. I want a little more definition, but oh yeah, kind of sad about that, but it smells amazing amazing I mean it's not bad but I want it a little more definition yeah I think I swirled it too much all right well I usually um, just color this in two colors so this is the first time that I've uh, put the green in it oh that's a little nicer okay all right so I'll get some other cool ones in the other in the other bar. 
Okay, they're muted, but they're pretty. It's pretty. Remember, like I said, what I normally do with this, I normally make two batters, uh, one for the one for the main color, and then one for the um, for the colored part. But I forgot, and I only made the yellow. Um, so I think maybe that's what attributed to the colors being a little muted, but. But it's still it's still pretty, and it just it really does smell very nice, and it's got the coconut milk in there, which is nice for your skin. So overall, I'm happy with it. All right, so there it is. That's my mango smoothie. So if you like what you saw, please um, give me a thumbs up and um, leave some comments, and I'd appreciate it. All right, until next time. Thank you. Bye.